Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I really didn't have an idea planned for this week's video, so I was kind of looking through all of my makeup and I decided on doing a full face of makeup that I'm going to be throwing out. Uh, I've done a video like this before. I did a video using uh, full face of products that I hate. So this is products that I'm getting rid of. Now, when I say throwing out, I'm obviously only going to be throwing out the things that can't be sanitized and the rest of it I'm going to be giving away to friends. It's going to be going to a good home, not just dumping perfectly good makeup in the garbage just because it didn't work for me. Okay, and I'm going to be telling you guys why I'm getting rid of the products as well, obviously. So without further ado, let's just get right into the video. So I have two primers here that I'm getting rid of. I don't really use a lot of primer. I pretty much just use the Touch and Soul No Pore Bloom Primer. The first one I have is the Too Faced. This is the Hangover Primer. Uh, I just find that this is like too sticky on my skin. Not really a big fan of it. I just try to never use it. And the second is the Pores No More Luminizer Primer from Dr. Brandt. I've never used this, but I got it in a BoxyCharm. And Dr. Brandt is not a cruelty-free brand, so getting rid of that one. Uh, so I'm just going to use a little bit of this just on my areas where I have more pores. This is really, like, tinted, so we will see. I think I've got way too much of this. And now I will go in with the Hangover Primer just on the... Ew. I don't even think I've had this for like that long, but it's like turning yellow. Maybe this one will just go in the garbage after this. I don't really notice like a big difference in my pores. I feel like I used a whole bunch of this. And like I said, it's not cruelty free. And then this one smells so good, but it's like kind of tacky and like, I don't know. I just don't like the feeling of it. It makes me feel kind of like greasy, which is not very cute. So next is my Scylla sponge. I did a review on this like at the beginning of my channel. I will link it up here in the iCard so you guys can check that out. And I was definitely not a fan of it. It just really was streaky and everything. And I'm going in with the Fenty Beauty Foundation. This is in the shade 130. And this stuff just dries so fast that like you really have to just work in small sections. And I have really dry skin as it is. And this is just super drying on my skin and we're gonna try our best to apply this with the Scylla sponge see like the sponge just does nothing for me uh yeah so that's why I'm getting rid of the sponge I find that this foundation looks literally so good on everybody and then on me it like just sits on my skin and it like will not blend in for the life of me next I'm going in with a concealer that I'm getting rid of this is the AOA studio HD concealer in porcelain. I actually got this from Shop Miss A, which I did a video on, which will be linked up in the iCards. Let's just go in with this concealer. This brush is so tiny. It's like, it takes forever. It's like my concealer never creases and this stuff creases so bad. Okay, so now before I set this with powder, I will zoom you guys in and show you how this concealer looks. So, Like, this looks so bad. I have a little bit of, like, texture under my eye, and it just, like, balls up all in here. And you see, like, every little wrinkle and everything. And, like, it doesn't even cover that well. Like, over here, there's, like, no coverage whatsoever. It's, like, really sticky, so it doesn't really blend up, blend out that well. In my opinion, it's not even worth the dollar. So now I'm going to set my concealer and I actually have two powders to get rid of they're very similar actually so this is the elf uh, sheer pink powder I really love the like sifter inside you get like this little sifter but this is like a very powdery powder if that makes sense and like I think this is the kind of powder that's gonna give you a lot of flashback so if you're doing any flash photography, like, you're not going to want to use this powder. You really can't bake with it because it just kind of flies everywhere. 
I prefer powders that are like a little bit thicker. Like I really like baking with the RCMA powder. I really like the Becca Hydramis powder for uh, the rest of the face, not the under eyes. So the second powder I have is the Flower Beauty. The packaging, I literally love. This is why I bought it. I bought this when I was in Arizona and the packaging is like to die for. But again, it's like very similar to the e.l.f. powder. It's like a very powdery white powder. Let me just take a picture with the flash on and see if this has a flashback. So, <laughs> this picture is so unflattering, but I'm gonna show you guys. This is so bad, like the e.l.f. one. Oh my god. <laughs> Do not do any sort of flash photography with either of these powders because you will look like James Charles Flashback Mary. Like, I'm gonna set my whole face with this elf powder. Beautiful. Now let's get our flash out. So much flashback. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I've already powdered my face, which was kind of stupid of me because I'm gonna use a eyelid primer. This is the Flower Beauty in your prime ultimate eye primer and then i just kind of dabbed it onto my eyelid but because you kind of get concealer and stuff on your eyelid just while you're doing your makeup like this goes on so patchy and then if you get any onto your concealer it lifts up the concealer and you have like these weird little lines you have to try and blend out okay so this is the amuse Cosmetics Matte Bronzer, which I also picked up during my Shop Miss A makeup video. This is really warm toned, so it comes off very, very orange. Now, the blush is actually a really good product. This is the Anastasia Pepe Hills Blush Trio in Peachy Love, and like they swatch so beautifully. But my problem with this is that. The dang ass pans are so tiny and this one has glitter in it the orange one so the pans are so small that it's like nearly impossible to get your brush in especially if you're using a bigger brush which is what i usually prefer to use for blush it's so hard to get your brush in the pan without hitting any of the other colors but i mean it's a really it's a good blush i just wish they had them like maybe only two in here like a duo so you had two big pans or even if they sold like these individually. Let's just go right in with highlighter now. This is the My Little Pony X ColourPop collection and this is the highlighter in the shade Trickles. Like I'm digging, I'm digging in there. So I just applied a little bit of setting spray and now I'm gonna go back in with this and see if that makes a difference. Okay, yeah, that definitely makes a difference. It's just not great. I definitely prefer their Super Shock highlighters. I think that they are so beautiful, like the shade Flexitarian. So that's the My Little Pony highlighter in Trickles. So now I'm just going to go fill in my brows. This is the Burt's Bees Brow Pencil in Brunette. It's not bad. It's just not my favorite. It's kind of waxy. The tip on it is like not super sharp because it's just like a pencil. So it's kind of hard to get a precise brow. That's brows done. It's also a very warm brown. Now let's just go right into lips because we're looking a little wacky. <laughs> so the first lip product I have is the MAC Bullet Lip and this is the shade Larlar Lee. It's their matte lipstick in collaboration with Laura Lee who is one of my favorite YouTubers but and this color is really pretty. It's like a beautiful nude but if you don't know MAC is not a cruelty-free brand, which is why I'm getting rid of the lipstick. I will give this to a friend. See, it's like a beautiful, kind of like pinky nude. But I mean, unfortunately, MAC's not cruelty-free. And as much as I love Laura Lee and this color, it's just not going to be in my collection. And the last lip product I have, this is another thing from the ColourPop My Little Pony collection. It's their uh, lip, Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade Ponyland. It's not bad. I just don't ever use it because it has a very like purple base to it and it like changes the colors of your lipsticks. It's like whenever you put this over top, it's gonna become more 
purple. And now we're going to go into the eyes. This is the model's own Twilight palette. Um, I picked this up from Marshalls, I think. And like on the back, the colors look so pretty. But I couldn't actually open it in the store. The colors just look completely different once you open it. It does come with a brush, which is nice. It doesn't look great. But this is like the color scheme. And when I swatched them, it just didn't look good, in my opinion. They just didn't really look like amazing eyeshadows. But we're going to go in to test it today, and we will see. Let me just zoom you guys in. So I'm just going to go in with the shade Gleam here, this like white yellow. And I'm going to like just set my eyelid, which is looking hella crusty. Now I'm going to take the shade Sunset down here and put that into the crease as well. Okay, so so far it's not horrible. It's just not blending out as well as I would like it to. So now I'm just going to take the shade Shadow, which is this like shimmery kind of brown. I'm just going to pack that into the inner corner and the outer corner of the eye and do like a kind of halo effect. Okay, so now on the same brush, okay, I'm going to take the shade Darkness, which is this like really deep blue, and just put it right in the inner corner and right on the outer corner. <sighs> Lord help me. Let's just take the little brush that they gave us. And I'm going to take, I'm going to take the packing side actually and take this shade Forest which is like a bright kind of green and I'm going to put that into the center of the eyelid. Now just on the kind of like cleaner side of that I'm going to take the shade Moonlight here which is like a kind of gray green I guess and I'm just going to tap that between the blue and the green we put on just to blend everything together. This is brutal. Let's just go into the lower lash line now. And I'm just going to take the shade of Sunset again and just like buff that all along the lower lash line. Try and hide some of that fallout that we have. I'm also trying to hide some of the creases from the, that concealer that we were using. But I'm taking the shade Horizon, which is this bright purple down in the corner. It's like ultraviolet purple. And I'm going to smudge that into the lower lash line. And then I'm going to take the shade Nightfall on the same brush, which is the darker purple up here in the corner, and put that right into the lash line. I'm going to go with the mascara. This is just a sample. I don't really like this formula. This is the Urban Decay Troublemaker Mascara. And the wand sucks on this. It's like so sharp and pointy that you pretty much just stab yourself in the eyeball. So basically what this does is just like separates your lashes but it doesn't really do anything else there's like no curl or anything um okay last but not least then is setting spray i hate this setting spray this is the peach mist mattifying setting spray from too faced it's part of their peach collection and i just find it smells so good don't get me wrong but like the mist on it is so heavy I always get like drops so I really have to like go in and buff them out or else I have like little white spots in my makeup okay so this is the final look just ignore how bad the eyeshadow looks okay guys so that was the full face of makeup I'm getting rid of let me just take a selfie for you guys with the flash on so you guys can see how good this looks. I'm gonna put this in the video right here so you guys can see how amazing this all looks together. So let me just start from the top. The two primers, uh, this one I really just didn't find that it did anything to my pores and it's not cruelty free so that one's definitely going. This one, I love the smell of it. Again, it's just, I don't really like the formula and it's turning yellow for some reason and I haven't even had it for that long but the foundation looks pretty cakey and pretty dry on my skin the two powders you can tell from the pictures if you want to use that powder or not the concealer is a definite no it's like zero coverage uh, sticks to everything eyeshadow primer is a no from me the flower one picks up all your foundation and everything. The blush I love. I just wish that they had bigger pans. The bronzer is very, very orange. So if you like an orange bronzer for a dollar, pick up the Amuse Cosmetics bronzer from Shop Miss A. Highlighter is very purple. It's pretty, it's just too much work to build it up. And ColourPop definitely has some better highlighters out there. The lip product, I love the MAC lip, but it's not cruelty free. And the lip gloss is just, 
it's okay. It's not really anything special, and it definitely changes the color to make everything more purple, which is not really that cute. The eyeshadow palette ugh, is impossible to work with. I like the way that the under eye looks. Like, the bright purple with the sunset color looks really pretty, but I don't think I recommend the whole palette because the top of my eye that I try to do the blues and the green looks so patchy and so bad, and I spent like half an hour blending that, and it's just going nowhere. That's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below and let me know if the, any of these products are like your holy grail. This is just my own personal opinion. If you love these products, then good. These just didn't personally work for me. Thank you guys so much for watching this full face of makeup I'm getting rid of. Please hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed it and please hit the subscribe button before you leave. I am so close to hitting 700 subscribers. Thank you all so much. That's basically it guys. <laughs> Thanks again for watching my videos and I will see you all the next one. Bye guys.